However much one may believe one has weaned oneself from religion, the weaning has not been so complete that one does not enjoy encountering religious moods and sentiments without conceptual content, for example in music. And when a philosophy demonstrates to us the justification of metaphysical hopes, and the profound peace of soul to be attained through them, and speaks, for example, of the whole sure evangel in the glance of Raphael's Madonna, we go out to meet such assertions and expositions with particular warmth of feeling. The philosopher here has an easier task of demonstration, for he here encounters a heart eager to take what he has to offer. From this it is apparent that the less thoughtful free spirits are really taking exception only to the dogmas, but are very well acquainted with the magic of the religious sensations. It hurts them to let the latter go, on account of the former. Scientific philosophy has to be very much on its guard against smuggling in errors on the basis of this need, a need that has come into existence, and consequently also a transient one. Even logicians speak of presentiments of truth in morality and art, for example of the presentiment that the essence of things is one, which is something that should be forbidden them. Between truths that are the outcome of cautious reasoning and these products of presentiment, there lies the unbridgeable gulf created by the fact that we owe the former to the intellect and the latter to a need, hunger is no proof that the food that would satisfy it exists, though it desires the food. Presentiment does not signify any degree of knowledge of the existence of a thing. It signifies regarding it as possible, inasmuch as one desires or fears it. Presentiment does not advance a single step into the land of certainty. One involuntarily believes that the religiously colored departments of a philosophy are better established than the others. But at bottom, the case is the reverse. One only has the inner desire it may be so. That is to say, that what makes happy should also be what is true. This desire misleads us into purchasing bad reasons for good ones.